ravaged. And the fires were so strong that uh, it just took the house down. Weather conditions for fires are rife. Authorities worried about those strong Santa Ana winds expected to blow for days, pleading with residents to heed evacuation orders as firefighters battling on the front lines find themselves at the center of a political maelstrom. President Trump tweeting this morning, with proper forest management, we can stop the devastation constantly going on in California. The president of the California Professional Firefighters Association pushing back, saying the president's message is ill-formed, ill-timed, and demeaning to those who are suffering, as well as the men and women on the front lines. Clayton Sandell, ABC News, Los Angeles County. Yeah, just devastating to see all that damage and those lives lost uh, here. We're not dealing with anything like that because we've had so much precipitation lately, it's thankfully. Wet. It's been cold. We had our first freeze last night, even for the downtown reading, got to 31. So we have all had our first freeze. And honestly, the story is going to be about the cold lingering and also some rain chances as early as tomorrow night. So let's break it all down for you. Mm -hmm. First things first, hour by hour into the evening. Temperatures low 40s in the city now will slip into the 30s and most likely 20s in our burbs. It will once again be another cold night because we have clear skies, light winds, and that just really allows things to really drop back as we head into the evening. So do anticipate a cold night. Looking from our Friendship Heights camera off in Northwest DC over across into Maryland right now, a calm evening, 43 in the city, but as I said, that's the warm spot. Notice Gaithersburg right now at 36, Martinsburg 36, Dallas at 34, Annapolis at 42. Right now, Culpeper already down to 33 chilly degrees for our friends down in Central Virginia. We're going 25 to 35 tonight, mainly clear and cold. Those winds overnight will be light, and that is part of the recipe that does lead to a very cold evening. Now, when you wake up and head out the door tomorrow morning, what to expect? Upper 20s from Gaithersburg to Leesburg, Manassas at 26, maybe staying in the mid 30s downtown, but still cold. Now, it is a federal holiday tomorrow, so maybe less people will be out. out. But if you are headed in tomorrow morning, an extra layer, and you're also going to need a little extra time because you're going to have to scrape that windshield if you haven't done so just yet. So tomorrow morning, cold to start off with sunshine. By midday, those clouds start to roll in. It'll be become mostly cloudy, but no rain. You can still duck out to lunch, low 50s tomorrow. Still not a bad day for uh, running around by evening by dark. That's when I think the showers start to roll in here. Sun's down at five. So from southwest to northeast, they'll move in here. But maybe the latter half of the rush, some light rain moves in, but becomes moderate into the evening. And while you sleep, some pockets of moderate rain, even at 2 a.m. Look at that heavy, heavy rain. Notice the yellows and oranges more concentrated south and east of town. But honestly, after five, six o'clock on Tuesday morning, we start to dry out, so I don't know if we'll get a ton of sunshine Tuesday afternoon, but the bottom line is that it will be a drying out. It's not really a solid wet day. Now, how much rain? Half an inch or so north and west up along the 81 corridor across the city, potentially an inch or so here. And look at that, maybe almost an inch and a third or more areas south and east where the rain is more concentrated. So low 50s for highs Monday and Tuesday. So temperatures a good almost 9, 10 degrees below where they should be. By Wednesday, we drop into the low 40s. With blustery winds, we're talking about a frigid Wednesday, Thursday time period. Friday, a little bit of a rebound, but we have another shower of potential chance Thursday night into Friday. So two big rain chances this week, Monday night into Tuesday, as well as Thursday. Friday, the blast of the rain should nose on out of here, nudge on out of here, I should say. And into next weekend, it is looking dry, but I got to tell you, from near 50 Saturday to our next cold front, low 40s by Sunday. I mean, three of those days on there, yeah. some almost, you know, 18 to 20 degrees below where we should be. So Too soon. A little <laughs> taste of winter here oh. in fall. Once oh, you yeah. said scraping windshield, <laughs> I was like, no! no! You know, you can't find it's the right joke, one and use right? the credit card and find <laughs> all kinds of stuff. No. Hey, we're already there. Huh? I know. No. <laughs> You've been right. warned. Gosh. All right, a little bit of rain, and uh, it was not raining touchdowns, but the Redskins still look good out there. Yeah, that's right. Their offense has been struggling, but the defense has been impressive. The Redskins march into Tampa. We'll show you what they did on the road next. You know when you're at Ross and you realize it's time your sister stopped borrowing your sweaters? Yeah. That's yes for less. Stop stealing mine. Never. The perfect sweater makes the perfect holiday gift, and it feels even better when you find it for less at Ross. Yes 
for less. Home. It's where the best holiday memories are made. Before family arrives this season, prepare your home with handcrafted furniture, rugs, and accessories from Greenfront. Explore our world-size selection in one incredible location at Greenfront in Manassas today. Get ready for cold weather with a heating system inspection normally $69, but call this week for an early bird special and pay just 57 bucks. John C. Flood, over a century of experience, expertise, and reliability. Call 703-712-8654 today. Public Wi-Fi, prime hotspots for hackers. Seven on your side shows you how easy I have five people connected. Anyone. Numbers are still going up. 17. Can be compromised. I can be you. The trick used to reel you in. Monday on ABC 7 News at 6 with Jonathan right, Elias, Michelle Marsh, and Chief Meteorologist Bill Kelly. Followed by World News Tonight with David Muir at 6.30. Together, get into the heart of the story, whether it's here or nations away. On your side, Monday on ABC 7. You know when you go to Ross to find your new fall look at an oh yeah price? Check this out. That's Yes for Less. From the latest trends to your favorite brands, it feels even better when you find them for less. At Ross, yes for less. You can't always react to everything that's in front of you. 